Hi, I'm Deborah. I'm going to be showing you a tutorial of spot cleaning the bunny's cage. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with removing the bunny. Got a little cage here. I'm going to open the cage into the kennel there so you can just hop on in or not. Come on, bunny. Come on, Thumper. Go on. Good boy. And then you just set him off to the side while the process continues. So we're going to remove the big objects. This is his little house for hiding. We're going to take out his litter pan and play paper box and dump that in the trash. Set those off to the side to be cleaned. We're going to get the food and toys out. And then we're going to pick up all the paper. Um, you can wear gloves if you are so inclined. It's a pretty easy job just to roll it up. And then we take out this little mat here. Set that out of the way. We're going to sweep that out and then spot clean it. Um, so then we'll get our spot cleaning materials. We have a supply of rags and diluted Otaban. And what we're spot cleaning is mainly urine spots because, as you notice, the feces is really easy to clean up unless they've squished it into the floor. So we just spray. That looks like solid. There we go. Um, and then we'll put the mat down, which is more for warmth, separation from the floor. And then we line the floor with a couple layers of newspaper.
on this. Okay. And then what we want to put in their house or their kennel, one Heidi box, uh, generally on the side with the mat. So when they're hanging out in there, they have that extra warmth from the floor, protection from the floor. Um, something to play with, they like paper towel rolls or something like that, little cat balls. They like those things. Um, the food we use. Uh, we have some rat, some rabbit pellets, <laughs> and they each get a scoop, one scoop, and these be refilled. block of Tiffany cubes. Okay, go off to the sides. Now with spot cleaning your litter boxes, you just spray it. Wipe it out. And a little play box where you can spray the rag. Line those with paper. Oh, add that over here. So we'll line the litter box with paper and then put a scoop of the litter we have, which is okay, and the litter we use for the Rabbit's litter box is a rodent litter, not tidy cats. Just using that container, it's little pellets we use, they get one scoop per box. And that's gonna go here on the right side in the corner. And then the other box, we put just some shredded newspaper in there. to play with. Put that in the middle in the back. And then you'll want to make sure that their hay is full with Timothy hay. With the grass. Just top it off there. Okay. And you'll make sure their water's filled. Move that. And take it to the sink, fill it up. This is still pretty full, so good. And then in the mornings, they get fresh fruits and vegetables. Put them back. It's ready to go. And then you can just open the cage and let them back on in. Make sure that's secure. 
Make sure they have a chew block to gnaw on, some toys in there to entertain themselves. And then you'd refill the supplies, the stacks of paper, towels, hay, litter, Timothy cubes, pellets, etc. And that, my friends, is spot cleaning the bunny cage. Okay, my name is Kylan and I will talk to you a little bit about how to get the rabbit food ready. So we're going to go over here to the cupboard and get our clean bowls. And we're going to grab two for each bunny, one for the pellets and one for the fresh veggies and fruit. So we'll bring this over to the counter over here. I only have four bowls. So we'll line them up for each rabbit there, and then I'll get my fruit and veggies out of the refrigerator. So they're in this bin here, so it's all separate from the human food that's in the refrigerator there for us. And I'm going to grab a cutting board out of the cupboard here, so I don't scratch up the uh, counters. I'm going to grab a sharp knife so I can cut those into tinier pieces. So they get a variety of different foods. Uh, we have some romaine lettuce, uh, bell peppers, chopped up into smaller pieces, some apple, and some carrots. There are extra supplies in the bottom crisper drawers of the refrigerator here if you're ever out. We also have some berries as extra treats to supply them as well. So I'm going to get a variety together here. I'm going to rip off some romaine lettuce. I can put a little bit in each bowl here. I'm going to get some ready for three bunnies. Okay, now I'm going to cut some apples into some tiny pieces here. It's easier for them to grab the smaller pieces than the larger pieces. And I'm going to do probably two slices of the apple between the three bunnies. Okay, and then I'll probably give them a little of the bell pepper. And just a little carrots. And so I'll mix this up each day so they get a variety. And we don't want to overwhelm them with one of too many things, especially the fruit, because that can cause loose stools. Alrighty, so that's ready to give that to each rabbit. For extra treats and just to get them used to handling and um, coming up to the cage, we also have some apricot pieces and some banana chips. So you can give those to them just in between feeding times as treats or even just to get them into their little kennel outside of the, the cage while you clean it. And I'll put everything back where I found it and put it back in the refrigerator, in the freezer.